You watch Prophetic Drive Time. I'm Eli Lasky. Let's get into this word. So it looks like this morning we are going to leave the 99 and go after the one. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Uh, it's just uh, it's interesting. It's, it's been on my heart. Uh, the Lord was talking about uh, removing uh, the blockage. It's something he really just impressed upon my heart this morning. Um, you know, uh, just in a very interesting way. And uh, what I've been seeing was uh, Caleb and uh, uh, Joshua, how they entered in, you know. Um, and what he was showing me was, was that uh, how the, the children of Israel, how how they got stuck, you know, how the murmuring and the complaining betrayed them. Glory to God. How the murmuring and the complaining betrayed them when it was time to go in. Mm, 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 mm. You see, because they had the people had been accustomed to murmuring and complaining and 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 challenging uh, uh, the leadership of Moses, they were they 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 had become so stiff stiff necked, and they had murmured and complained, and they didn't appreciate the things that God was doing. They never took time to value the things, the miracles that God was performing along the way. They just murmured and complained by what they didn't have. They they didn't they didn't realize what God was doing along the way. How the Lord kept them. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And, and as a result, what really kept them from going in, what, what really betrayed them at the end was all of that murmuring and complaining caught up to them when it was time to go in. You see, prior to that, the Lord, the Lord winked at it. The Lord, the, the Lord, uh, 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 he, you know, he, he didn't say anything. He just kept, he just kept demonstrating, kept demonstrating. You see, but at the time of transition, faith was required and he wouldn't take nothing less than faith. Mm, 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 mm. You see, and the interesting thing about K Caleb and Joshua, glory to God, <laughs> is they cultivated their faith, mm, glory to God, they cultivated their faith along the way. <coughs> they were aware when the, when, the, when, when the Red Sea was parted. They were, they, they remembered when, when the bitter waters were turned sweet. They remember the, 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 the water that was, uh, that came gushing out of the rock. They remember the victories. They remember the victories over the armies. They remembered, they remembered. So when it was time to transition, they remember the quail. So when it was time to transition, they were full of faith. Why? Because they hadn't spent their time like the rest of the camp murmuring and complaining. You see, this is what betrays uh, uh, many people when it's time to go in. Because now that when it's time to go in, what they find is faith is required. What, when it's time to go in, what they find is faith is required. And while the Lord endured the murmuring and complaining and, 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 and uh, uh, the tantrums and while he endured all that stuff, now that it's time to go in, what you find is faith is required. But today the Lord is extending an opportunity to someone. Today the Lord is extending an opportunity to you to refresh your mind, to, to cleanse your mind. You see, uh, uh, <laughs> we serve a God who is so good and so merciful that what he's extending to you today is, is the grace of renewal. Glory to God. You see, in this, in this moment, we have the opportunity to say, Lord, I repent. Mm. I, I repent of, 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 that, of, of those ways, Lord. You see, because also an interesting thing, I must say this before I go forward. Also an interesting thing is now that we, those of us, uh, obviously you have to be born again. You have to be in Christ. So it's a different dynamic in this regard. Through the complaining and the murmuring and throwing the tantrums and, and, and being angry at God and, and all these things, what we, what's happened is what's really damaging the faith is, is now that you've opened a doorway to that voice of the flesh. Now, now that, that thing works against your faith. Now and the faith that's required, it's warring against that. It's warring against the faith that's required, uh, uh to proceed into your next level, to proceed into the next situation for whoever you are. It's, it's work. It's warring against, it's warring against your faith. So what the Lord is saying this morning is that he said mm, that he, he, that he's offering a cleansing right a, a cleansing you know through through repentance lord you know what i'm sorry for that lord i have no excuses you see because what the lord is saying is that you <clears throat> that you have the power 
glory to God. You see, you have the power, and once you, you see, and what, and, and the thing that's uh, working against you is, is something that you allowed through the murmuring and complaining. It's something that you allowed. So now, mm -hmm, and so he says, through repentance, what you realize is that you allowed that. So once you acknowledge what, you know what, I allowed that. I followed those things that didn't line up with God. I followed those voices, and I gave them strength and power. So now it's so, and so what's happening is it's affecting your faith in the transition. I don't know who you are, but it's affecting your faith in the transition. It's affecting your faith in the transition. So now you, 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 you're trying to find the faith to believe God, but all you, but, but what's even, what's more powerful than the faith, it seems, is your, is the complaining that you were doing. It's, it's, it's the, uh, it's the, it's the, uh, it's the cost of, of, of complaining and murmuring and, and back talking. It's the, the cost. So now that, so now that that thing is, is speaking louder than, than your faith is speaking. And so what the Lord is saying this is that to shut the mouth of that enemy, all you had to do is realize that, you know what, at any time you could have just believed God. You didn't have to, you didn't have to give in to uh, 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 the, the portal of that the carnal mind produced and, and, and you didn't have to give in to that. So once you acknowledge that, you know what, I allowed this, I agree with those things and I was, that was wrong. And I repented that father in the name of Jesus. I asked for forgiveness, Lord, and wash me, Lord, and renew my mind and renew my mind. Glory to God. Bring me into my right mind. You see, because faith, mm, <laughs> faith is a right mind. Glory to God. The mind of faith is the right mind. The mind of faith is the right mind. Bringing me back into my right mind. You see, because that was a, that, mm, that's a, a that is a foreign mindset because it, it brings out a foreign disposition as it relates to our position in Christ, our position in, in the household of God. That's a foreign mindset. And so, and so having the, uh, all right, go ahead. You know, so having the, um, so, so, so being renewed in your mind, you know, being restored back into your right mind is about, is about acknowledging number one, that you, that the enemy is not, uh, 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 you're not helpless against the enemy that you had to allow that. You had to allow that. You're welcome. You had to allow that. You had to allow the enemy. You had to agree with that. And once you agree with that, it, 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 it allowed his influence to continue to flow in, which is affecting your faith in the transition. So now, you know, that's why, you know, it's, it's, it, it may seem difficult for you, you know, but the Lord says, hope in me. You see, um, the Lord, you know, the Lord is so adamant about the good that he purposes for your life that he gives us every opportunity to be successful in him. He gives us every opportunity, but he does not change the standard. He does not change the requirement. You know, some of you think you can do it without faith and you can't, that's, you know, that you can't because faith is how we enter into the place of pleasing God, amen? And so, and so having some of you, uh, 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 and this is not really for everybody because not everybody's necessarily in this position, in, the, in, in this position, you know, the, uh, uh, but there's a couple of people who have murmured and complained and, 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 and so now they're, um, they find it difficult to believe God going into the transition. And that's why he was showing me the children of Israel, how all that murmuring and complaining caught up to them. And it seemed like it was no big deal until it was time to go in. You see, once it was time to go in, now that full payment of faith was required. Mm -hmm but they couldn't see it. it. It affected their ability to see beyond their natural circumstances. Uh, stances. It, it affected their ability to see beyond the uh, situation they were in and to see beyond the giants. And they, and they saw themselves as grasshoppers. As grasshoppers. Oh, why? Because all the murmuring and complaining finally caught up to them. It finally caught up to them. But the Lord is saying for you today, I'm offering you a, 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 a new mind. I'm offering you the opportunity to be cleansed of that, to be cleansed of that and to be restored. And mm, to mm, Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord says to be renewed in strength. Glory to God. <laughs> to be renewed in strength, to be renewed in confidence in him. Glory to God. To be renewed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And that's my word for you today. God bless you all. Love you all. Talk to you soon.